Talon Hawksby gets his second win in a row as Otto Sitterly's car is being pushed in pretty much right next to us here. He just finished in third. So it looks like we are getting the handle on this car at this point, huh, Talon? Oh, uh, yeah, we really figured it out tonight. Uh, we made a couple of big changes and it benefited us in a good way. Um, you know, the car really just felt good tonight uh, on rails. Felt like a rocket ship. Easy to drive. Um, obviously, this one a little bit more uh, impressive than the last coming mm -hmm. from fourth, but it feels good to get up passing cars and moving with cars and mm -hmm. just running with everybody else and still being able to come up front. So what did you change and what did that do to the car? Um, well, originally we took uh, the sway bar out of the car um, to try and get it to turn a little bit better mm -hmm. and stay right down on the hub rail and that took too dramatic an effect for us so we put it back in, gaffed it uh, half an inch mm -hmm. and that gave us just what we needed. The car was perfect. Gotcha. What happened on that restart? Because it looked a little, like, a little bit there like Griffin was just going to drive away. Uh, you know, on the, you always got to be ready uh, for the start. You got to not jump, but you got to be ready to go as gotcha. soon as you can. And especially on the inside lane, the guy on the outside's always got the better run. So you got to be right on it. And um, the first one, uh, I thought he was going and I stepped on the gas and it was a little early. But on that second one, I just knew that I had to get the hammer down and, mm -hmm. you know, put it down and got around and made it happen. Well, congratulations. I'm happy Thank for you. you. And again, two in a row for Talon here at uh, Oswego Speedway. Congratulations again. Thank you.